Police in Paris are preparing for thousands of yellow vest demonstrators to take to the streets again this morning. Well, the protests, as you'll know, started in November in opposition to hikes in fuel taxes, but have since snowballed against the policies of President Macron. Well, the French journalist Nabila Ramdani is here again, <sighs> Nabila. I mean, I mean, and this is, I mean, we saw you last weekend. Mm. We thought it was pretty shocking that it was extending into a fourth weekend. Now we're going to be into a fifth. Why is the, the momentum here not dying down? Well, it seems incredible that Paris is really preparing for a fifth Saturday of rage in a row and uh, there will um, be a, a, a massive security operation which is already in full swing. Uh, 8,000 police will, and soldiers will be on the street to guard against uh, any trouble in another a yellow vest protest and um, we will be seeing similar scenes in major cities such as Bordeaux and Marseille and um, you know it's really not what you would expect in the run-up to Christmas and um, I fear that there will be very little uh, retail business going on today. Uh, Mr Macron has already made massive concessions to the movement including a 7% uh, rise in the national minimum wage and of course the scrapping of the fuel tax but it seems that the yellow vest uh, clearly wants his head so to speak. Uh, his uh, concession package uh, is estimated to cost 10 million euros plus and this is only in the short term. And he's tried to keep everybody happy. For example, he said that the government and not companies will make up for the shortfall uh, caused by the scrap tax. And he said there will be no reintroduction of the wealth tax, which he abolished last year. So, so ultimately, do you believe that what they want is for President Macron to step down? And unless they get that, these protests will continue? Well, there will be a great deal of effort in today's protest to call uh, to try to force President Macron to resign, um, but I think he won't resign. Uh, he uh, easily won a vote of no confidence in the Paris Parliament uh, this week, uh, where he has an overwhelming majority, and he rightly blames um, uh, the, what is happening for, uh, um, as the legacy of uh, decades of French politics rather than solely his 18 months in power. And there's, uh, having said that, there's great uh, evidence that the vast majority of French are still backing the movement, even if they disagree with the violence that's often involved. And that's in the, the key, I and mean, we know historically that if, if you know, protests don't have public support, then they, they will die away. I mean, it's, it's, it's inevitable. The fact that these do have public support has got to be very concerning for President Macron. And so, as you say, he's, he's making concessions, not making any difference at all. Yes, but the, because essentially he's viewed by the protesters as the president of the rich. Uh, and they say that the anger is not just aimed at... Um, the, um, at the president himself, but about the, uh, not just about the day-to-day -day policies, but rather the entire political establishment, which they think is designed for the very rich and exclusive of everyone else, and particularly the low owners and the unemployed. And it has to be said that there's a great irony in uh, a former merchant banker and indeed finance minister uh, in... Um, um, being so generous uh, towards uh, the, the protesters. Uh, it's this kind of spend, spend, spend approach that actually has got uh, left-wing governments in all kinds of trouble in the past. And it's not clear as to how Mr Macron is actually going to finance his, all his generosity. How do you see all of this playing out and eventually concluding? Are we just going to see weeks and weeks and weeks of protests until they actually get exactly what they want? Well, I think the protest has now become institutionalised and um, uh, there will be efforts to, um, as I said, try to bring Macron to, to, to resign. But in my view, the movement will fizzle out when, uh, during the proper Christmas and New Year holiday. And, um, and so we'll see, you know, the protesters gradually, you know, disappear precisely because of, uh, you know, they, they, they would have been given uh, quite a few concessions and the fact that President Macron is not going to go anywhere. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm. Nabila, good to see you. Thank you very much indeed.